AITA for asking my guests to pay $10 to come to my wedding? My fiancé, 23M, and I, 23F, are getting married in less than a month. We are doing a small wedding and only inviting 20 guests. We decided we wanted to have our wedding up in a canyon. But to access this canyon it costs $10 so we're having our guests pay the $10 to enter the canyon. We put this canyon fee on our invitations. My sister called today as she had just received her invite in the mail and was mad about having to pay to attend a wedding. She called me an a-hole because I was being a cheapskate and there are thousands of canyons that won't have a fee. But me and my fiancé already have our hearts set on this specific canyon and view. As the argument went on she started to not pick our whole wedding plan. Having the guests bring their own camping chairs. Not having a real reception just a small dinner for those who attended and posting our registry all over social media but only having 20 ppl actually be invited. We don't want to spend money a lot of money and so doing it outdoors is one way of doing that. We also just want our close intimate friends and families to be there so I don't know what's wrong with keeping it small. To those who will ask it's a canyon fee you have to pay at the base so it's not like we could just pay the park rangers in advance and just say this should cover it. It's open to the public. So AITA. I got married at a park that had an entrance fee. We included a card with the invitation that our guests could present at the park to be allowed in. We put a deposit at the gate to cover their parking charges. And they calculated the actual amount due based on the cards they collected. It's not that difficult. Don't charge your guests. YTA. YTA I wonder if OP is having people pay the fees individually because she doesn't want to get a permit for the event. That's a huge no-no and if it's a popular time, her and her guests may very well be kicked out. We had our wedding in a national park and we had to get a permit and paid all the fees. It was worth it to know that we were there legally and add the space to ourselves. YTA. This sounds cheap and tacky. Especially posting your registry on social media when you're only inviting 20 people. And then making them pay to attend and schlep their own chair down into a canyon. Just elope. What sounds like a cute little ceremony to you will be a talking point for people for years. And not in a good way. Oh my god. Remember when Sarah and Nathan got married and we had to pay to go hiking with a chair? And then they posted their registry online? Like great auntie Susan is gonna buy them a Le Creuset when she wasn't even invited? Quote. YTA for posting your registry all over social media but only having 20 people invited. That's not normal folks. People who don't come to your wedding shouldn't be expected to give you gifts. YTA the canyon is your wedding venue. I've never been to a wedding where the couple have asked me to pay admission, my percentage of the cost of their chosen venue. If you can't afford the canyon as a wedding venue pick another one. So you're skirting permit fees. Venue fees. Making you guests pay admission and bring their own chairs. Only inviting 20 but making sure everyone you've ever met knows about your registry. There's frugal. And then there's tacky bordering on illegal. I suggest you do your research before day of. Unless you're aware that you're going about this against park policy and are doing it apocyphically. For cash flow reasons. Either way YTA. Guests have to pay and schlep a chair. YTA. These are 20 of the most important to you and you can't cover the $200 entrance fee for them? Come on. It's your wedding, not a birthday party. YTA. Not having a real reception just a small dinner for those who attended and posting our registry. All over social media but only having 20 ppl actually be invited. YTA. 
Not sure which is worse $10 entry fee, BYO chair, or getting the registry over social media and not being invited to the wedding. I guess there are no bathrooms at this canyon dinner? Better add BYO as wipes. So you're avoiding paying $200 because it's allegedly logistically infeasible. Even though you say the rangers are fine with the wedding happening. So someone could at least stay at the entrance and pay. Or nothing is stopping you from mailing out $10 bills with some cute note. See you soon to confirmed. Guests. But posting your wish list of thousands. Or at least several hundred. Of dollars of stuff you want all over the internet? I don't think you're trying to be tacky. And I'm a big believer in simple weddings and people doing exactly what they want to get married. I don't have a problem with simple or homemade food. Or even cash bars for extra drinks. I went to a great wedding that provided specialty cocktails but beers were a buck or something. And friends bartended. And maybe the canyon fee or chair alone could have been fine? But all this combined with the registry on social media makes it seem like you want to take. Take. Take without giving much of anything at all to make your guests feel welcomed and comfortable. The simple weddings I've been to have also mostly been very gift optional or encouraged folks to donate to nonprofits instead. Also, why not just have members of the wedding party? Yourselves. Our close family bring extra chairs? It's not that bringing a chair is so hard but you want to make things easy for your guests. Your sister is right. Not only are you a cheapskate, but you are lazy to boot. You certainly could arrange something with the ranger station. YTA. YTA. You don't charge guests to come to a hall. You don't charge them an entrance fee to the park. YTA because you're not at all concerned with your guests actually enjoying this wedding. Also, paying the $10 per person yourselves would still be cheaper than renting out any other wedding venue. So it's the absolute least you could and should do for your guests. And posting our registry all over social media but only having 20 PPL actually be invited. It seems you have no money but the audacity it's sky level. YTA most people would pay the entry fee for their guests. $1,020 people is $200. Darn cheap for a venue rental. YTA this gives the vibe we are doing something wrong and hope we don't get caught vibes. Who puts their registry on social media? Question mark exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark. YTA. Info. I'm still really stuck on the wedding registry thing. What was your reasoning for sharing it on social media to non-invited guests? Yes YTA. Don't have it at a canyon then. Going to your wedding is a favor to you. No one wants to pay for admittance. YTA. It is tacky to charge admission to your wedding venue. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.